I just want to appreciate the size, the size of, of this meatball. Hello you lovely people. I'm with my very special friend Stacy here today. Hi. Hope everyone's doing well. <laughs> well, we're going to eat some Jiangsu cuisine today. And um, we've known each other for about 4 years now, right? Yes, it's a long time. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Fun fact, Stacy actually lives in Jiangsu. Yes. In do. In a little place called Suzhou. Yeah. Have you tried Jiangsu cuisine in the past before? Well, a little bit because I've been living in Suzhou for about eight months. Yeah. But I don't think I've had anything we're gonna have today. Okay. Yeah. Um, today is definitely gonna be an eye opener. So Jiangsu, the area of Jiangsu, has always been like an economic and cultural hub within China. So during the Tang Dynasty, when they um, constructed the Grand Canal, it connected the north and south together. Mm -hmm. So. In ancient Chinese, it's called Jiangnan. So that place had loads of had loads of poets. Now you mean south, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So loads of poets, loads of artists, loads of um, culture came from Jiangnan, which is Jiangsu region, and it really reflects with the food as well because it's by far the most presentable one out of all the eight. So we're going to be having the best of the best. Yeah, we are, we are. It's really presentable, it's really good looking. So today we're trying Huayang cuisine, which is a sub-cuisine of Jiangsu cuisine. Okay. With government banquets at the moment, with state visits, they'll serve Huayang cuisine over any other cuisine. I think because this is the... I think what you said earlier is the most upper class, more like... It's a royalty. We yeah. be royalty today. Yeah. That's All it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hope you're excited. I'm so excited. I can't I wait, and I'm so hungry. Yeah, so we we starved ourselves <laughs> for today's meal. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Literally, I haven't had breakfast. I didn't even have coffee today, guys. So yeah, wish me luck. So I'm in actually quite a bad mood because I'm super hungry right now. Right, let's get ready. Okay. Okay. Let's go. So, I don't know if you can see this clearly, so this is called the pine fish so, or the squirrel fish. Why is it called the pine fish? So it looks like a pine cone, essentially. Right. I think that's that's okay. what they're going for. But essentially, it's just sweet and sour fish and it's usually fried to perfection. Let's go, let's go. Go, let's go, 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 go. I want to see your reaction after you try this. Sour flavor is really strong, but in a good way. It's a, a really nice. That's yeah. the stuff right there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Mm. The flavor, amazing. the flavor is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had this before, but maybe it's because I'm hungry. Right. But that tangy taste, yeah, it's really balanced. It's great. I'm just, I'm just eating here and appreciating what you say. But I mean, even at home in South Africa, we have a lot of sweet and sour Chinese dishes. Mm. But this definitely takes the. Cake. Look at the color. Look at the color involved in this. This just looks so appetizing. Brilliant. I'm, I'm glad that we started off with something like this. It's Hopefully, a nice you can way to line mm. our stomach. <laughs> I was gonna get in there a little bit more. Yeah. Nice. Usually with this though, it's not really seasoned well, mm -hmm. but this is seasoned nicely, perfectly.
Here we have the famous Young Joe Fry Rice. So this is where Marco Polo went when he came to China. Okay. And Young Joe's famous for his fried rice. Good balance of flavors. And whatever the meat is, even though I don't know what it is. That's really hearty. It really, yeah, it really adds to it. Mm. Very, very good. So hitting the sweetness as well. I think I taste it's a Chinese pickle. Yeah, there's some pickles pickles mm -hmm. in there. There is pickle. I can feel the crunchiness mm. of the pickle. I don't know if this is traditional Young Joe fried rice. I don't think it is, mm. but still tastes amazing. So what would be the traditional version if you think this isn't? The traditional Young Joe fried rice is essentially a special house fried rice you would get back at home. So it has everything in it. Mm. It has, usually has char sao meat, some prawns, um, duck, goose, anything. So anything left over, they would put it into this amazing rice. It's like all brion, just add everything. Really? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So like with brion, it's just rice and meat and potato and veggies, whatever you want. Really. Oh, that's that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So here we have the needle tofu. I don't know, I'm kind of scared to try this just because it looks so delicate and I don't want to ruin it at the moment. So this is really a test to, uh, wow, look at that. Look how yeah. thin the tofu is. So they wow. say, this is all hand cut by the way. It's all hand cut with, with the knife. They cut, it, they cut tofu with a knife yep. like that. Ooh, sorry. This Sorry. is all this is all hand cut. Right. So this is a testament to like a Huayan chef's skill, knife skill wow. essentially. And it's cooked in chicken soup. Mm. And, and then it's like slippery in nature, right? So that's yeah. really difficult to cut. And the the how they test it is once they cut a thin strand of tofu, yeah. they put it through a needle. If it passes, then it's good to go into the soup. But if it doesn't pass, so it literally has to be as thin as a strand of hair. Wow. Do I, I put it I just put it in this cup yeah. here and then you can just yeah. drink it. Great. Good. We're not supposed to do this by the way. So I'm probably committing a sin of note. Yeah. Food sins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Please do not go drinking tofu um, randomly. I don't think it's uh, proper. Yeah, it's not socially acceptable. <laughs> yeah, it's not a proper thing to do. Oh. Go for it. Yes. Did you taste the tofu? Mm. I'm actually just kind of letting it savor in my mouth right now. Mm. I honestly didn't taste the tofu. I'm sorry, um, the server just cut I open the line, that massive meatball, yes, and yeah, it looks amazing. That. My mind is blown at the there's moment. There's egg in it. That's yeah, this, 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 I think it's like salted yeah. duck yolks. Right, so talking about the tofu soup, I really, I really don't taste the tofu. It's just thin strands, it's just completely melting my mouth. I don't know, maybe I took a big gulp of it, but I could taste the tofu in the flavor. It's much better than yeah. I thought it tastes. Mm -hmm. The chicken soup, the chicken broth is lovely, and the tofu, the tofu has like a binding agent, doesn't it? It tastes like egg. Up next we have... We have the... Okay, so this dish is called the salted duck. The Nanjing salted duck. But they don't have duck. Yeah, they have goose instead. I've heard that this is the speciality dish in Nanjing actually. Yeah. Nanjing salted goose then. Goose oh. and duck taste mm -hmm. essentially the same. But yeah. So they brine in salt and other yeah. spices. I'm quite intrigued. Let me, tr let me try this before. Go ahead. Okay. Let's go for it. Oh, that's... 
stuck. It's stuck. Okay. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> Interesting. It's very different, and I don't know how to actually place it because it's it's like it's a preserved meat, but in juices or soup. Kind of yeah. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's dry? Hey. Do you think it's dry? No. No, it's not. Mm -mm. But it's quite addictive. If I'm completely yeah, yeah. honest. It, Maybe it's the saltiness. Hmm. Like, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if you're a fan of salt, then yeah, um, and I am. Um, the, is true. This is really interesting. It really is. It doesn't taste that amazing, but yeah, I want to keep on going back, going for more. Mm. It's just there's something about that brine. It, yeah. it, it lacks. So compared to this, compared to the fish, yeah. it doesn't have that tanginess, right? I just keep wanting to keep on going back for more. The brine is lovely. Yeah, I think it is. I think that's the trick. That's the magic. Mm. Yeah. If you go to Nanjing, you have to try their salt brine duck. I think this one might be your favorite. Incoming, incoming. <laughs> Just have a look here. Yeah. It's, a, it's a, yeah. This is a braised duck. It looks good. It's got. It looks like it's got a really thick sauce over it. All right. So this is this is quite bony. So eat with caution. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Oh, it's mm. cold. I was expecting that to be quite hot or at least warm, but it's cold. Mm. I don't know, is it meant to be cold? I don't know. Yeah. Smoky. Mm. I like the smoky barbecue flavors. Yeah, it's, it's got that barbecue. Yeah. It's got that barbecue taste to it. Mm. It's sweet, mm -hmm. aromatic, smoky, yeah. barbecuey. Yes. But I would really prefer it if it was hot. Yes, me too, actually. I definitely prefer it if it was hot. I think it would taste better and it will enhance the flavors as well. I don't understand why it's cold. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just missing that one thing for me, <laughs> the temperature. The flavor's on point though. It is bony though. <laughs> you were right. It is bony. I just want to appreciate the size, the size of, of this meatball. I have never seen a meatball that big. Guys, look, look, if my we, hands, the meatball. We, <laughs> That's a huge meatball. That is huge. So, the so, king of the hour, <laughs> the moment. <laughs> yeah, they cut it open for us. It's loaded with salted duck yolks. So lion's head meatballs has got a really fascinating story. Check out my check out my pork video. Right. Check out my pork video for that. Okay. And this looks. I don't know where to start. It's so big. Just dig in. It's gonna. All right. I can barely even eat this go. apple chopsticks. Look I at think that. the bowl would be better. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like meatloaf. It does. Right. It does. Oh, meatloaf. Eastern meatloaf. Guys. This is huge. I got a bigger piece than him as well. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. That's good. That is so good. I was actually concerned that because of the size that they may lose the, fl the flavor or seasoning to it. But they did a good job. This is good. It's great. 
It's so good. The meat, was, uh, the meat itself is, is cooked to yeah. perfection. Like, it's so juicy. It's, everything's just right. It's, just, like, it's got a humming note to it. I'm just going to eat. Yeah. Now, I like the addition of duck yolk in there. Mm. But I think you could actually do without it. Yeah, there's no need for it. No need. Yeah. It tastes good, but there's no need for it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back for a second piece. Mm -hmm. That is lovely. Mm. If you want meatball cooked right, eat Jiangsu cuisine. Right, they know how to cook a good meatball. Mm. If you like big meatballs as well. This can literally be a meal on itself, guys. Just like, put it out there. Just so you know, prepare yourself. Mm. I've never had meatball like this. Mm. Never. I never thought meatballs could get this big anyway. It definitely lives up to its name, eh? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. This is so good. I started with a nice big piece as well. So. <laughs> I'm like digesting the yolk. It's actually quite rich as well because of the yolk. That's legit amazing. It's so good. Yeah. Oh. Good Now we we essentially almost tried everything on the table. Um, yeah. We I think have... there's one more thing which mm -hmm. might be the best. These little things. Stop it. We have the amazing soup dumplings. These little nuggets of gold. Do you have any idea where soup dumplings come from? China. <laughs> you see in showing <laughs> You're right, you're half correct. It comes from Wuxi actually. Right. So it's halfway between Shanghai and Suzhou. But it's very popular in Shanghai and I'm pretty sure this, you see this everywhere in Suzhou, yeah. right? So let's taste it first and I'll tell you how it's made. You, you, you cannot go wrong with these little things. Oh, they Cheers. look lovely. Cheers. Wrong. This is why China is known for dumplings. I'm just saying. That pastry tastes like air, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. These. The meat, I think it's pork, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pork is very good. These very little good. nuggets of gold, you can just keep on popping. Mm -hmm. I need more. Happiness is. I'm probably get too excited about food though, but dumplings, you know that, okay. Dumplings make me happy. Do yeah. Dumplings make you happy? Yeah, food makes me happy. Food does make me happy. <laughs> so something else we haven't tried. Yeah. It's that wine that we ordered. Right. That rice wine. Let's get to that little trickster. So it's Ooh. made from this fruit. That's only available in China in the summer. It's called pipa. I don't know the English translation. I don't know. From the pictures, it kind of looks like an apricot. It but does. I, yeah. yeah, but I'm, I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't taste like an apricot. I don't. I can't. It, it just tastes like itself. It's got a very unique taste. And they made a rice wine out of it, which I'm excited to try. There's probably a reason they give you the size of a cup to drink it in. As well. Oh. It's, <laughs> Strong. It's twelve point five percent. We're supposed to like down it, down it. or just <laughs> sip it. <laughs> you just down it. <laughs> oh, I was just sipping it. I was just sipping it. <laughs> okay, guys. Apparently, you're not supposed to take it as a shot, but I have. He's done it the proper way. It's quite nice. Do you even taste that? I did. It just went fast. <laughs> it just went very fast. Out my throat. Right, so I'm gonna show it. 
rather do his thing. Don't don't do mine. <laughs> It's strong, it isn't it? It tastes really good though. It's very strong. Do you like it? Mm. I'm not it's sure I like good. that. I actually like it because it's got a sweet flavor to it. Um, I genuinely like anything that's sweet as it is. So it's not like overwhelming or overpowering, but you can taste that it's strong. Mm, it's like definitely, it's most definitely strong. Okay, Stacy, which one out of all the amazing dishes that we ate today is your favorite? Let's rank it. Hmm, voting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go with fish as number one. The, 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 yeah, the yeah. pine fish. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay. I think the, the sauce was the winner, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Meatball number two. The lion's head. Yeah. 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 Do, yeah. The lion's head. I think the fact that it was just that huge to begin with is more inspiring. And the, the flavor combination between the yolk and the meat. On spot. Yes. Yeah. And then I would go with the rice, uh, just because again I like the flavor combination. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That's my top three. But yeah. Can you see why now this is offered a state banquet? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Because right. you really are allowing your dishes and your food, and also in that way your country to shine, right? Yes. Yeah. So really nice. For me today, yeah. based on what we've eaten today, I, I will put the lion's head at number one right. because I think that meat was so juicy, it was, it was cooked so well. Right. The egg yolk added like texture to it, mm -hmm. it was interesting, yeah. But the meat itself is like nothing yeah. I've had. I had similar things to this before, that's why I'm putting this at number two. Right. But this okay. fish is seasoned properly, unlike many other mm -hmm. places. And Swin's now sauce is on point. Yeah, but I think it's also, uh, maybe this is also like a taste of home for me yeah. in a different way because most of our Chinese food, believe me guys, you do not have Chinese food at home. You need to come to China for yes, that. For sure, what? for sure. All right, guys, we had a massive feast today. We really enjoyed ourselves. Did you enjoy yes, yourself? I'm so glad I came hungry. Or as I would have had no room for this food, for sure. I hope this has opened your eyes slightly. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. I mean, it's been an eye opener for me. I've been living in China for a while now. I mean, I even live in the province, right? <laughs> it's above. So, hope you enjoyed it, guys. And come on over whenever you want to taste some authentic food. Because, like, I think this is really eye-opening. I think this is what real Chinese food is about. And I hope it's yeah. given you guys some inspiration. Until next time, bye. Bye.